is one of the guys who thinks up the next invention, but that's just his day job. 10 News reporter Joe Little takes us inside Qualcomm's robotics lab where this engineer right in here is closing in on rock star status. Deep inside the Qualcomm campus, you'd think the robots have taken over. Not yet. Then over here, Donald Hudson, is still in charge of these little critters. Do I like my job? Yeah, that's an understatement. This see, is Qualcomm's uh, robotics uh, research lab. This is really the fun part. Hudson is one of the senior support staff engineers. Basically what I do here is try to uh, innovate and push the boundaries of what can be done with high-end processors. He's smarter than I will ever be creating things like Snapdragon Cargo and what we call the Snapdragon Rover with its independent wild swerve drivetrain. It also has a downward facing one for the optic flow. They're robotics that could become everyday parts of our lives for now. Retail value of priceless. But these little guys are Hudson's day job at night. Hudson's robots take on a meaner look. I call it Lockjaw. Lockjaw is a 250 pound temper tantrum. It's a combination of smarts and muscle. We, we got to make them smarter, safer, and more durable. This is a safe and secure testing lab for Lockjaw and Hudson's other creations. Like his Snapdragon Cargo, a hybrid between a helicopter drone and a tank. While the Snapdragon cargo is relatively graceful, Lockjaw is built for battle. Which is perfect when you consider he's built for this. This is BattleBots. A two men enter, one man leaves television tournament for robots and the smart guys who build them. The idea of celebrating engineers as rock stars is long overdue. Rock stars, maybe. Qualcomm is one of Hudson's sponsors. It certainly is a cool way to apply this to this. I think I'm a, a poster child of, you know, doing what you love every day. Staying out of Lockjaw's way, Joe Little, 10 News. BattleBots returns to ABC 10 tonight at 9 p.m.